Hey everyone, welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today I'm putting together a quick demonstration of Stand By Me played in the key of G. This has been transposed to this key uh, just to make it a little bit more beginner friendly, um, but it can easily be put back into the original key of A by putting a capo up on the second fret. Let's get started. Okay, so this song is very easy, just four chords. We need a G, that's our one chord. We need an E minor, which is our six. We need a C chord, which we can call four, okay, four notes away from the one. And then we need a D major, our five. And this represents thousands of really popular songs. Our strumming pattern, we're gonna do uh, strum, chuck, strum, chuck, okay? And by the chuck, I mean a little slap of the strings. We're gonna do strum, slap, strum, slap, strum, slap, strum, slap, twice on the G chord, then the E minor, strum, slap, strum, slap, strum, slap, strum, slap. Now we're gonna cut that in half on the C chord and the D chord, so only one set of strum, slap, strum, slap. Moving on the D, and back to the G chord. And that's the progression in its entirety. Notice how it begins with G and ends with G. Okay, then looping back around, we're gonna have to do another set of G chords. So it's gonna seem like you're on G for a long time, actually 16 beats. So let's give that a try, ready? 